Hello traders, Gary Wagner with the Gold Forecast here on the 27th day of September. It is Monday and this is the Daily Report. Uh, Forex Gold is currently trading at 1294.23. It is under some pressure. It is trading a little bit lower. As you can see, we do have a, a small black candle forming here. What I'm finding more interesting, though, right now is the fact that when we take a look at this $1,300 as that benchmark, as you can see right in here, it's taken it, made that high, not been able to close above it, and then on today's trading and last night's trading also, we have that, what I'll call a, a fairly significant top over at 1300 and we do have some profit taking going into the market right now. We're now looking at the December COMEX contract. This is New York gold, and we see the, basically the same activity happening. As you can see, it's traded just above that $1,300 mark. Let me blow that up for us, traders. Uh, because it is a futures contract but in the same way it has also found significant resistance or I should say tentative resistance excuse me right here at you know that $1,300 mark so what does that mean well the market could easily be taking a small breather we could see it retrace a couple of dollars you know a move down as low as maybe um 1295 1292 and then make its upward ascent we could see this become a top it's it's quite too early to tell right now but i will tell you this we were looking for the market to go to 1300 it is at 1300 and so i do believe that um in the short term 13 13 and a quarter is still our target area so my question is going to be, is this the area that we find some sort of a, uh, a retracement or will the market continue to move higher? Now, if we took a, take a look at uh, any of the occasions in which the market did hit a top and then came down to give us some sort of an insight as to whether or not we're facing a similar activity, it's, it's still way too early to tell. Uh, when we hit this one record high here, this was wave 5, that 1265. We had a long down day, a couple of small days, and a very, very strong, hard day. So we've had that strong day down. Um, on this wave 3 here, as you can see, we had a similar activity. Let's go ahead and take a look at this through our, our uh, Forex. And... What you're going to see is that you will get, even if the market's going to sell off hard, you will get uh, days of consolidation, then that hard sell. And so, as I say, it's, it's still too early. Here, it had one, two, three days, four days before we got that hard sell down. Here, this was the first record top at uh, 1221 right in here. When we got that, we really, we hit that top. But then it came down very, very hard, very, very quick on the following day. And then on this last top in here, we did have it kind of flirt in that area. It made that top once, came back down, made that top twice, then two small bodied candles, and then the market came down solid here. So in terms of candlestick patterns and indications, because really when we're at market tops, what you want to realize is that... If we use any of the Western technically based oscillators, they're all going to tell us that the market's overbought. We've been running record high, record high, record high. So it's not going to really give us useful information. The market can continue to go higher and these oscillator based instruments will tell us that sell signals are eminent, which may or may not be the case. However, candlesticks are usually pretty good indications. Uh, and, and you can see any kind of potential top. We're going to get some sort of a pattern, whether that pattern is like an engulfing bearish as we get here or here. Uh, whether it is a small kind of incomplete dark cloud cover, which is uh, would have been a Harami, but because the Forex is a continuous market, you don't get this body right in here being able to be in the middle. It didn't confirm the following day either. So we're going to have to see. In other words, we're going to see whether or not this particular candle, if it continues to trade lower, if it is under pressure, whether or not we are going to see our sell signals. Now, we do have our stop sitting in the market. We do have profits, 1285, first position, 
excuse me, 12.55 is our first position, 12.74.50 is our second position, our stops are at 12.80. I'm going to let that sit right now. In other words, I want to risk the fact that if the market wants to come down a little bit, like in here and then trade back higher, that we're not knocked out of the market when the run could go on longer. At the same time, if we see a strong indication of a sell in this area, we might in fact want to take our stop to the market, but I'm not going to do that now. My recommendation is to sit and hold, see where this market wants to go over the next day or so. And so kind of the last thing that I want to look at for today's report is a shorter term. This is a 60-minute Forex chart. And as we talk about uh, and have talked about all last week, the market will tend to trade. I call them a band. It's a channel. It's a narrowly defined trading range, and then it tends to break out and make a new high. Here it tested that high, and again, then it will form these, these channels. Here that channel broke below and then came back up. And again, here, and here's where we get we make our new highs right in here. So my sentiment is that at least for right now, it is trading within this channel right in here. And it has not really broken hard one way or the other. So my determination is we'll see how much profit taking comes into the marketplace. We will hold tight on our positions. We will see what happens through the trading activity of today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. This has been Gary Wagner with the Gold Forecast, wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday. Bye-bye.